What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back again at 2029 Southeast 15th Street here in Oklahoma City. This is Copart yard number 18, and I'll just have to show you guys. It, you, this week is even worse. You can barely walk through here, and they are so inundated with cars that, like, most of the cars that I would love to show you guys, the actual nice, cool cars, you can't get to them. Um, they're in an off-limits area that I don't have access to. And in order to view those, you have to ask them to bring the car to the front. And I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm not going to take up their time for something that I'm doing to make videos for myself. Uh, I can't do that. I wouldn't feel right about that. There's a lot of cars in off-limits areas that I would love to show you guys. Unfortunately, I just can't. So we're going to have to just deal with what we've got right here. But the good news is I am working diligently with Monkey Wrench Mike, with IAA, and with Copart to try to bring you some very fresh, new, exciting content from Los Angeles, North Hollywoods, maybe even Van Nuys. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. I'm still working out the details and all while traveling across the country in a BMW i3 electric car. It will require some coding. I will definitely have to code this car to make this a more comfortable trip, but if I can work it all out, we got some fresh content coming your way very soon. Now, when I told you they had these cars packed in tight, I wasn't kidding. Like, I, I mean, they are taking up every inch of available space they've got out here, guys. And they just have more cars coming in. This is a 2013 Camaro 2SS. All right, we're gonna find out why it's here. This is in the blue car section, which is usually rental cars. Oh. Okay, well, hey, <laughs> now I see why it's here. Holy crap. Okay, you know, no big deal. It just needs a quarter panel and a door, guys. Quarter panel and a door and a mirror. Should be good as new. And a, a fender. You could probably PDR that. Hell, you know what? I know a guy who knows a guy. I'll bet this could all be PDR'd. Straighten that right back out. Fill it in with Bondo. Put some paint on it. Should be going right down the road <laughs> again. No, she won't, man. We're talking pillar damage. Uh, th this thing is in rough shape over here. Totally fixable if you're willing to put in the work or if you know somebody that can put in the work. 98,000 miles on the clock. It's not too bad. Be very careful. These are big doors. Try not to hit any other cars. I like the red interior. I like this right here too. Very nice. It smells, uh, you know, well, it's, it smells kind of used. Not a big deal. We got a manual transmission, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say this is not a rental car. I don't there ain't very many rental cars that are gonna come with a uh, a stick shift. Someone, <laughs> no way, someone used the heads up display as a holder for their sunglasses. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, someone literally used the heads up display <laughs> as a sunglass holder. Oh my goodness. There's a a phone mount. What do you think, guys? Think she'll fire up? I think she's dead as a doornail. Oh, the key was left on. See that? The key was left in the ignition in the on position. So, all right, let's see. I don't know if I can even... I don't even know if I can get to it up there, guys. It's... It's, uh... It's packed pretty tight. I mean, look at that. Almost bumper to bumper. Ah, uh, can I? I can get it. There we go. Ah, our lucky day. The uh, post jump started is uh, right uh, here. Golly, there we go. My goodness, that was a that was a pain. Let me get the booster pack. Let's throw it on here and uh, let's see what she sounds like. I hear a lot of dinging, so hopefully this will start it up. I have a lot of people ask me why I don't bring a uh, code reader with me to uh, diagnose check engine lights out here. And it's a good question, but uh, they don't allow you to do that here, guys. Uh, they don't allow you to bring code readers. Now they do allow me to bring a booster pack, which is very generous of them. They don't allow that normally. Um, so th I'm very thankful for that, but I'm not gonna violate their rules, uh, you know, for a check engine light. It's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna risk getting kicked out or anything like that over, uh, over a code reader. So, you know, I buy them just like everybody else. You know, you just got to hope for the best. All right, let's see what lights we got. 
traction control, of course, ABS, of course, slip protection, slide protection, slip and slide prote protection, also known as Stabilitrack. Yeah, that makes sense because that rear wheel is uh, kind of tore up. Oil pressure is good. Give it a little rev, not too much because it's cold. All right. There's definitely a rattle, a very slight rattle. Uh, but again, these cars sit for long periods of time, so very strong possibility that it just needs to warm up a little bit, get the oil circulating, you know? Stock, I mean, it's as stock as you can get. Bone stock factory, runs good. Obviously, there's a little bit of a front end damage as well, at least to the suspension. You can see this front wheel is turned out towards the driver's side. Meanwhile, the steering wheel is tilted toward the passenger side. And I'm gonna bet the passenger wheel is also tilted to the passenger side. No, the passenger wheel is, uh, it is tilted toward the passenger side. Yeah, so you got one wheel going this way, one wheel going that way, and then of course the back wheel is going that way. This thing's in rough shape, man. And you know what, I don't know why I came this way because I can't, uh, I can't fit through there. Sounds good though, sounds good. I don't know if the body's worth repairing or not, guys. You'd have to comment below. Uh, what's interesting is there's no pillar here because this is a convertible. I wasn't even thinking about that. I'm used to there being a B pillar all the way up here, but there's not. So guaranteed this is not just gonna need an outer fender. There is inside structural damage that's gonna require digging pretty deep. You're gonna have to peel this onion pretty far back. That's something I just don't, I don't, I just don't like getting into that, guys. Uh, I love lightly damaged cars, not just because they're an easy fix, but I feel confident that when something like that gets put back on the road, I don't have to worry about the end user. I'm not worried about was it done right. I don't have to sweat that because the cars I buy, they don't need much, you know? That's kind of what this channel is about. Buying cars that are cheap, easy to fix, economical, and the main thing is when you're done with them, wait, why is that window down now? When you're done with them, let me guess the battery's dead now. Oh, that was smart. No? Uh, when you're done with them, you can send them down the road and you can, what? And you can feel confident there. What is the deal, man? Oh, listen, I'm not here to play games with you, car. I've had about enough of this. There we go. Okay. Easy does it. Yeah, I'm more into the, the, the cheap, easy, quick cars that uh, you can feel good about passing down the road, man. It makes me feel good anyway. I feel better about knowing that the cars I'm sending down the road should be decent for the end user. All right, guys, let's see what else we can find. What other trouble we can get ourselves into. There are so many cars here. Look at this. Ooh. Wow. I mean, just burnt to a crisp, man. Look at the airbag in there. How crazy is that? Another fire car or truck, I should say, way up there. Oh, man. Oh, Lord. With something like that, just that, that, that hurts my heart, man. That hurts my heart. That really does. Uh, thankfully, it doesn't say biohazard on it, guys. The ones that say biohazard are the ones that just, you know, you just, you feel like somebody, somebody definitely got hurt. You know what I mean? Um, biohazard doesn't always mean that though. Biohazard can also mean that it's been rained on inside or snowed on. It's got mold. It could have rotting food. Um, doesn't necessarily mean that it's from a person being injured, but when you see a car tore up like that, yeah. Thankfully, like I said, that one did not say bio. This doesn't look that bad. Uh, is it wrecked in the front? Yeah, it's got a little dance. See, okay, right here's a perfect example of what I like to look for. This is easy, man. It's a little bitty Mazda. Parts are cheap. Needs a headlight. Definitely needs a hood. 
The bumper looks like it survived. It needs a mirror. Let's take a look at this one. Uh, maybe the bumper didn't survive. The clips are still good. The retainers are still good. So you could put this back together. You could. The bumper is a little eh, but you could, you could definitely reuse this bumper. Replace the hood. The roof has got some interesting dents in it, but I guarantee you heat this up first and you push on it from the inside, you could get this back. 129,000 miles on the clock. Ooh, it's a stick shift too? Oh, I'm digging this. I'm digging this. I am. I like Mazdas. I don't buy them very often, but I do like them. It's got a cracked windshield, so we have to take care of that. What is that? Ma like, really? Okay. Uh, whatever. Whatever floats your boat, man. Oh, this mirror over here is hanging on by a uh, zip tie so okay <laughs> uh there's little cues that you could look for me <laughs> that tell you oh you know like someone painting the engine blue um yeah there's just little things man little things that tell you how a car was cared for or how a car was not cared for uh, another thing i look for corrosion all over the battery terminals man uh, that shows that, you know, they were probably starting to have problems with this thing and they didn't even bother addressing it. So I'm going to say this car was just not maintained very well. Take a look at the tires. The rotors are not heavily rusted. There is surface rust, but they're not heavily rusted. That tells me that this car was not too long ago on the road. And something else I'm noticing right here, I didn't see that. The fender has been hit by something, probably whatever went under this. There may be suspension damage, maybe not, but this fender is folded under, so this fender's no good. The door's got a ding in it right there. Thankfully, that's down low, so it's not something that, you know, is gonna affect it too much. A fender on this, not a big deal. Um, definitely got to replace fender, but it's, you start getting into this, guys. This also has that pearlescent paint. Very, very beautiful, shiny, uh, metallic, lots of metallic flakes, a very nice pearl color. Um, this is one of those cars, you got to remember the paint on these, very, very expensive to get repainted. And the more you look at it, now we're looking at a hood, a bumper, headlight, two mirrors, a fender, possibly work on the door if you wanted to make it straight and perfect, which I wouldn't bother. Also the fact it hasn't been well maintained, 129,000 miles on the odometer. We got Yokohama over there on the back. It's got lots of dings all around the body. Uh, this is a Douglas, so we've got mismatched tires. General smoke smell on the interior. This is a, a Kelly. Yeah, so like all the tires are just totally mismatched. We haven't even started looking for maintenance items yet, like coolant, uh, oil. What do you think we're going to find in here? It's got coolant, so that's... that's, that's <laughs> It's promising. It's got coolant. All right, let's take a look at the, uh, at the dipstick here for the oil. Actually, the oil's clean. The oil actually looks decent. I'm very surprised by it. So at least someone was changing the oil. Uh, I was looking for the trans dipstick, but I just remembered it's an automatic. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's put a jump on it. If this thing goes for next to nothing, I'd be interested in it. But honestly, it, it's not going to prices are too high right now but uh for the right price i would be interested in this car all right let's see what she does oh misfire all right it went away it definitely had a misfire to begin with but you know again it's got some mileage on it it's probably been sitting for a little while so no big deal there it's definitely been sitting a while it's been sitting since november of last year so this car has been sitting for four months we got a Make sure it's not in gear here. Okay, let's let off the e-brake. Let's see what lights we have on here. We have ABS, low fuel, tire pressure, traction control. Okay, she's got a, she's got a few codes for a car with a dead battery. Uh, that tells us that these are accurate. A low tire pressure is most likely a bad TPMS sensor. Traction and ABS are probably related to one sensor. Let's turn on the air conditioning here and see if it works. That's very important out here in Oklahoma. Oh, don't forget, you gotta replace that windshield too. 
AC is ice cold. Yes, it is. Okay, that's promising. Next, let's test out the clutch, see how it feels. Yep, strong clutch. Okay, it'd help if I knew where reverse was. Is it like, okay, all right. Reverse in this is down, push down and over. There we go. Okay, clutch feels good. The shifter feels nice and solid, not bad. All right, this is a cool little car. Let's give it a little rev. Does the important window work? It sure does. What about the, the next important window? Yeah, it works all right. Battery's definitely gonna need attention. Probably gonna need a battery for this as well. This is a, this is one I consider. I would. Let's take a look at the back seats. Let's see what things look like back here. Not, not, not too bad. Needs a good cleaning. Uh, th this car needs a lot. So like I said, guys, I'm going to keep my eyes on this one. But uh, truthfully, uh, this car needs quite a bit to put it back together. And it would have to go for next to nothing to make it worthwhile for me. Let's move on to the next one. How about a 2014 Ford Focus? It actually doesn't look that bad. It's got some pretty deep scrapes and scratches down the hood. It's got some miles, 159,000 miles on it. Uh, not too bad. Firestone on the front. Almost looks like this side is sitting awful low. I don't know, you tell me. Maybe that's normal or the tire may be too big. Let's take a look down it. Another Firestone. It's got a very nice metallic black paint. It's an SE. And what do we got over here? We got another Firestone. The tread is decent. It's not great, but it's decent. Some parking lot scrapes and dings down it. Yeah, this is... I, I Actually, I don't know. I was going to say this is most likely a rental car, but rental companies don't keep these <laughs> for 160,000 miles. Uh, rental car companies seem to dump these things before they hit 50. So, a little dirty on the interior but not too bad. This just, now here's the concerning factor. It just came out of service, okay? It's got a service tag in it. So this car was in service for something. It has power. So let's go ahead and uh, put the key in and see what she does. Oh. Okay. Well, she made a, a a real, there it is, a misfire with some like rattling going on. Okay, it feels like a, a motor mount. Oh, she's misfiring bad now. Wow. Okay. interesting you give it gas and it dies there it goes that's reverse so it does have gears yeah okay it's got gears e-brake feels good no check engine light which is very bizarre I give it a little gas it feels like the misfire goes away let's pop the hood does the important window work? Uh, mechanical cars, you know, cars with mechanical damage can be a lot of fun. You never know what you're getting into, and to me, that's kind of exciting sometimes. Important window works, yes. Other window works, yes. I've got the AC on. We'll check that in a minute. Just so it doesn't lock on us, let's go ahead and crack this window just a little bit. Let's take a look under the hood. And see if like the air box has been removed or the mass airflow sensor is disconnected or something uh okay where there it is okay you can see the engine's rocking just a little it doesn't look like it's all that bad though Yeah, she's definitely rocking a little bit, guys. 
I'm just surprised that there's no check engine light considering this car started on its own. It doesn't have a dead battery. It's almost like someone cleared the codes before the car was sent here. Uh, and it hasn't had an opportunity to uh, throw the check engine light yet. Let's come back to the exhaust. Oh, look at that old Accord, man, that's a coupe too. Oh, we gotta check that out next. Yeah, we gotta check that. This car has been sitting here a long time. You can tell because the sticker done wore off of it. All right. Oh yeah, she's misfiring. Yeah, but, 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 but. Yeah, she's misfiring pretty good, actually. Okay, well, I'm not gonna lie, I'm still interested in it. Like I said, mechanical cars kind of excite me because you just don't know what you're getting into. The air conditioning does work. Oh, you can hear it just vibrating in here. Look at that, uh, look at that license plate right there. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah, we'll put this window back up. Shut her down. It doesn't smell all that great in here either, but that can be fixed with an ozone machine. Yeah, it is a little concerning that it went to uh, a service department um, because obviously they, whoever owned it sent it to service hoping that whatever it was could be fixed and they must have got a quote back that was uh, not what they were hoping for and they decided to just send it to auction. So that definitely is concerning. Um, and I take that in consideration when I see a, a dealer tag or a service tag in one of these cars. I know that it recently visited a dealer for something. Now, maybe they just changed the oil or most likely they had it checked out and they sent it to auction. So take that into consideration uh, when it comes to the price you're willing to pay for it. And, uh, you know, you, you probably come out okay. Next, we've got a 90s, an early 90s Honda Accord. What do you think? I'm thinking like a 94. 94 95 boy this thing this thing is it's a little rough well look at <laughs> look at this tire what happened <laughs> damn wow oh man oh it's a stick ooh ooh wee she smells crusty oh my goodness Let's see what's the date on this. Oh, it's a, it is a 95. It is a 95. I was right. I said 94, 95. What do you think the miles are on this? I almost don't want to sit in it, guys. This one really does smell awful. Uh, 192. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Look, we got a CD in here. Uh, Daughtry. Yep. What else we got? We got a Lord of the Rings. All right. This car comes. Ooh. Oh, hey. Hell no. Oh, that is nasty. That is nasty. All right. Yeah, I ain't spending, I ain't spending much time on this one, guys. No, not at all. I'll go ahead and pop the hood. It's just going to be that little four banger sitting under there. Ah, come on. Oh, oh V Tech, baby. V Tech. That's right. I'm going to say this car has been sitting for a very, very long time, guys. Look at, <laughs> look at this. Was it a runner? Does it have keys? Hold on. Hold on. I, I got to know. I, it looks like it was a D. No way this runs, man. Should we start it? Should we try? Let me see if it's got keys. Hold on. No, it doesn't. Someone took them. Someone, well, hold on. There's the clicker. Well, that used to be the clicker. I think this car had a key at some point uh, when it was here. No? Gone. No key. Okay, well... Yeah, I guess somebody may have uh, somebody may have taken it then, because to me that looks like a a D, not an N, not an S. That's a that's a D. So it looks like someone someone snatched the keys, man. That sucks, because if this thing had fired up, which I somehow I don't think it would have, but if it would have fired up, 
I would have gone ahead and put this on my list. Yeah. Okay. Well, another one down. Let's see what else we can find out here. Next, a car that everybody loves to hate, a little Nissan Versa. Man, what's wrong with this car? I love these cars. 45,000 miles, I can guarantee you this was a rental car. This is when they retire them, right around this mileage. All right, you got little cues like this, little stickers right there, barcodes. Tires are in good shape. Body's got, you know, a few little dings and dents in it, but nothing too serious that I can see so far. Ah, okay. Ah, it's busted. That window shattered. Oh boy, okay. So this, this was probably stolen then. That's gonna be my guess. Hubcap is damaged. Suspension looks like it's probably all right though. Okay. Uh, guarantee you this is a rental car. This is a rental car, yeah. Uh, fender is bowed out just a little bit. It's actually, actually chipped right there. You can probably get that straightened out. Obviously the bumper is not quite on right. Little crack right there. The rest of the bumper actually looks all right. So I would think you could probably put this back together without too much trouble. Nothing under here, it's probably hard to see, but nothing under here actually looks broken or damaged at all. Ah, well, the headlight. I mean, obviously the headlight, that thing is all kinds of crooked. I know everybody worries about the, uh, where's the, ow, I found it. <laughs> everybody worries about the CVTs in these. I'm not overly concerned with them. Uh, not with 45,000 miles on the clock anyway. Should I be? I, I don't know. Let's check the oil. Oil's a nice golden color. All right. Next we'll check, uh, come on, get in there. We'll check the coolant. Ooh, that sucker's on there. Golly. Urgh. Oh my goodness. Wow. Ooh. I see nothing. I hear nothing. Okay, so take that into consideration. There is the possibility of uh, core support damage, lower, maybe radiator damage. I don't see much of anything in there. What is this? There's a hole in the air tube here. Looks like maybe a uh, air intake temperature sensor or something used to be plugged in there, but it's missing. Um, this headlight bracket, oh, it's busted, yeah completely busted so headlight assembly not a big deal this looks like a fairly easy fix let's take a quick look down here now nah, she's fine she's fine may just be low on coolant guys i know that's probably being optimistic but uh let's take a look at the back seat that's well, actually pretty clean in here guys Ooh, ooh, wee ooh, <laughs> wee yeah, I guarantee you what we're gonna find in the cup holders, center console. I can smell that good good right here. Man. Oh my, oh. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I guarantee. Let's look at the cup holders. Uh, up. Oh. Da -da -dum. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. You better get this car cleaned out very very thoroughly by somebody you trust before you go cruising around on the streets with it i'll tell you that right now drug dog comes up to this car you are hit like you're going to be drug out of the car and they are going to search your vehicle 100 percent fired up all right she runs i'll be surprised we don't get a low coolant light no very interesting because she definitely looks low on coolant all right, little touch screen looks like it works. Important thing is the air conditioning. Compressor just kicked on. We'll give that time. Let's check the important window here. I'm sure it works. Yeah. All right, yep, there's your plate pass right there. Bingo. Bingo. Told you guys. Ah, no smoking. Yeah. Okay, I like this. 
I do. I don't know what's gotten into me lately, guys, but I mean, I love my big cars too, but I've been driving around the BMW Z4 for a while now. I'm really liking these small cars, these little compact cars. They're not super quick, but I mean, they'll scoot down the highway, man. They'll zip in and out. Transmission's perfectly fine. Man, you can just go anywhere. You can park anywhere in these things. You can just zip right in and out of traffic. I love these little cars. I love these little cars. Give it a little rev. She sounds fine. Let's check the trunk. Should we? I don't know. Should we? We should. Let's see what's in the trunk. Oh, nothing. Nothing. It's clean. I mean, don't. I don't want to sound disappointed or anything. You never know, man. You never know what you're going to find in these. Maybe a spare tire. It does have a spare tire. And there's a lot of room in there, too. Wow. That's a lot of storage room under there. Holy crap. Okay. Well, I'm keeping this on my list, guys. I'm keeping this on my list. Look, I love my older cars and stuff, but I would like to try to find either an older car that's a little more cool than the stuff I got now. All the cars I have are on their way to auction. So I'd like to try to find something kind of cool. Uh, again, easy fix, pretty simple to repair. I don't want something that, you know, I got to send to a, 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 a shop or something to get repaired. I want to get something that I have to be concerned about uh, when someone you know, ends up getting it and, you know, driving down the highway with their family. I don't want to worry about any of that stuff. Something like this, we could do this, guys. We could do this. So I'm going to put this on my watch list and let's see what happens. All right, guys, let's see what else we can find. Did we already look at this Focus? Focus is a non-runner. I'm going to come back to this one here in just a minute. 123,000 miles. Okay, uh, this will be in the next video, or should we just do it now? Let's just do it now, man. Let's not, let's knock it out. We'll make this the last one for the video, guys. Ford Focus. I know you guys must be so excited right now. A Ford Focus that doesn't run with 123,000 miles on the clock. Hey, let's check it out, man. Some of these are listed as non-runners, but you get out here and they actually fire up. It's a 2012. It's got that, like, titanium gray color. Beautiful color. Lots of metallic. The sun just... just shines off of it man brilliant color i know i know it's a ford focus there's nothing to be excited about well guys i love cars i love cars that means i'm entitled to love any dang thing i want oh 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 hell no oh my gosh <laughs> oh man the smell uh, yeah, I don't want, uh, good Lord have mercy. Look at this. Dude, I let my dog in my car's tube. I don't ever, ever let my cars get like this. What is that? Oh. Oh. Oh, man. Water poured out the door when I opened it. Oh, my. Guys. Look at this. This is unreal. I am, I am blown away right now. I've seen a lot. But holy crap, I'm, uh, you know, I'm inclined to believe this car probably doesn't run. That's, <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, I'm inclined to believe this car very well may not run. No, man, no. You know, I mean, it's your car. It's your car. You want to fill it up with dog fur, I guess that's your business, but dang, man, like, it sucks being the guy that ends up getting this car. You know what I mean? Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, man. What, what happened here? What? Guys, this <laughs> something 
looks amiss here. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, lots of parts, bolts. Uh, hey, something's missing down there, guys. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't run. That's a fact. That's a fact. It doesn't run. Here I was thinking, hey, you know, we'll crank it over. Let's see what it does. You know, maybe it's something, you know, maybe it's something simple. No, no, it's not something simple. It's missing the entire transmission. Uh, this is one you'd have to go to like a pull apart or LKQ or something. You'd have to find you one, hope that it's good and take all the fasteners, nuts, bolts, everything from it at the same time. Cause, uh, this thing's missing just about everything. That's crazy. That's crazy guys. I, uh, I said it's going to be the last one. Uh, I'm going to stick to that. Yeah. That's the last one guys. We're done. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a solid, hit the thumbs up button. Let me know that you like the content. Drop those comments down below as well. Subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed. Look, I got some new merch down from Teespring below under the video, just under the video, Teespring, man. Go check out the new merchandise, man. It's been selling like hotcakes. Like, uh, I've been selling merch for a long time, but my merch has never taken off because it's always been kind of bland. I mean, you guys have called me out on it. Well, uh, big shout out, man to the gentleman that's created that caricature, all right? Uh, thank you, man, you really you really helped me. I'm sorry I forgot your name, like I'm in the middle of Copart, I don't have anything in front of me, but I really do appreciate you for making that caricature and allowing me to use it on the merch and stuff. It's really been helping the channel out a lot. So big shout out to all of you that's been buying the merch and supporting the channel. Big shout out to you, the gentleman that created the caricature of me with my neck exploded about 10 times bigger than it is. Hey guys, I gotta get out of here, but I appreciate you watching. Stay safe out there, buddy, and I look forward to seeing you all very soon in the next one.